Hi, Uncle Lassum here again. I found this old computer at another dumpster. It has a sign saying not to take anything, but I asked for permission and was allowed to take this computer with me. And I was not sure what type of computer this was for a long time, but I did see there's a sticker behind here where it says DX. It says um, CPU DX66. So uh, I'm going to open it up and see what I can find inside. But there is no expansion cards here, so there's no sound card or anything. There is an, in there is an internal graphics card here. Ah. All right. Well, we can see it's uh, Saris Logic. GD5428 I think it's 4 megabytes, 4 megabytes of RAM here and 4 here and then there's only ISA slots so the CPU is under here it says 486-2DX66 very nice Let's try to boot this computer up. This is a very nice find. Alright, let's see what happens. This is exciting. Oh. Seems to be working, come on. Yes! Come on. No operating system found. Disk error. Insert system disk. Okay, so there is no... Or perhaps it doesn't take the hard drive at all. Uh, let's check the BIOS. Fixed disk D not installed. C not installed. I guess I have to manually yeah, manually add the hard drive specifications. Automatic disk parameter detection 2. Uh, what? I had some problems getting the computer to detect the hard drive. Okay. I thought I had to add the hard drive manually, but I could not find out how. Except to select different drives from 0 to 48 that had some pre configured settings. Instead, I tried the automatic setting. That made the computer sometimes still complain about the settings, other times not. So I'm going to install this uh, GoTech floppy drive emulator to make it easier for myself because I'm not at home now. And uh, a sound card. It's this uh, analog device sound port. And the CD-ROM. Okay. Of course, this won't work. So I just have to have the case open for now. Starting a mistake. Oh, so it does detect the uh, Windows or the hard drive. Hard drive. Hmm. Let's try to remove this one. Reboot. So it says missing operating system. So okay, this configuration not correct.
No, it's missing its S, but uh It is not. It is here. Okay. If this won't work, then I'll just format the driver. Adding the device uh, or adding himemcs in uh, config.sys. So after using fdisk and um, deleting the partition and creating it uh, once again and formatting the drive and installing TOS, now it's working actually. So now I'm going to install the Windows uh, 3.11. Okay, so I got it up and running. Now I just need to put it back together and install the CD-ROM and so on. I did have to remove this old battery as it is not working anymore and it can leak acid and ruin the hardware. Luckily, this is a pretty easy type of battery to remove. I'm replacing it with a clock battery socket. The CD-ROM and the case was a bit dirty, so I cleaned them and removed some stickers. Okay, the computer is now fully restored. Let's boot it up. <clears throat> this is Phil's computer labs starter or DOS starter package something. Enable CD RAM and mouse. Let's play a game I played when I was a kid. Um And this brings back so many memories. I had so much fun playing this game. And I also watched the movies before Christmas every year. And this is the first time I think I saw realistic graphics for my 486. I did not think my 486 could produce realistic graphics. So I was so amazed, especially at this picture here. I think there is a glitch here, from what I can remember. Wasn't it? Up here. Up here. Oh no! Oh crap! I forgot. Uh, this is a trap.
No. <laughs> Okay, so the camera has stopped recording for some reason. I've just copied over Aladdin and I'm going to see if I can play the game. Oh no. What am I doing wrong here? It's not that it's not a directory. Oh it just became a file or something. So I have to okay. Um if I make directory. Unable to create directory. Why? Access denied. Why is C if I protect it? Suddenly, my root drive is um, <clears throat> right protected. Where's the music? There we go. Oh crap. Oh, I, I jumped. Oh, I. Oh. But I... What, what? what am I supposed to do?
Oh crap. <laughs> okay. Let's get the shotgun. Speakers, speakers are reversed. I love the shotgun. To summarize, this computer is called the NCR System 3230 and it seems to have been released in 1993. It has 8MB of RAM, a Cyrus Logic GD5428 graphics chip that seems to be using the VLB bus, since it's using VLB drivers. It has a DX266 MHz CPU, and below the CPU is the connector for second level cache. If you know how I can add some cache to this, please let me know as I have not found anything that will fit. So if I made it so far, thank you very much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed. I'm very glad I finally found a nice computer in the dumpster, and it's, uh, I'm very glad it is a 486 computer. And because I have a lot of Pentiums, but I don't have that many 486 computers. And I think 486 to early Pentium is my favorite era. But yeah, I don't know what to say, just I uh, hope you have enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time.